In this video, I'm going to show you how you can spice a YouTube video into a lecture recording. This is Margalit's lecture, and you'll notice that she's referencing a YouTube video. I'm going to show you how you can put that video into the recording so students get a seamless experience, um, especially students that are in China where they can't access YouTube. So the first thing you need to do is download the YouTube video and you can do that legally uh, by requesting the video through ETV. So I've done that. I've got that video here and I've also got the two halves of the lecture that I split in the previous screencast. Now what I'm going to have to do is open up the second half of Margalit's lecture and split it again so I can splice in the video. So I'm going to use Video Splitter to do that. And I'm going to open the second half of the lecture. I know that I want to splice in the video where she talks. In fact, I know exactly where it is. It's 34 minutes and 2 seconds in. So I'm going to add a split point. Now I'm going to create two more videos either side of it and open the video folder now I've done that you'll see I've got two new videos into which I can splice the YouTube video that I downloaded from ETV so there's another program in the mp4 tools set called mp4 joiner and I'm going to use that to splice those videos together. So these are the three videos. I'm going to select three of them, open them. I'm going to move the YouTube video up so it's sandwiched in the middle of the lecture video. I am, however, going to go to Options and I'm going to force it to re-encode this time, re-encode the video and the audio since the videos come from two different sources. So just to be safe, I'll re-encode it. It's going to take a little while. So when I hit the join button, give it a meaningful name. Lecture part two. And save that. Pause the screencast and I'll see you back in 15 minutes. And that was a lot quicker than I th thought originally. It's taken just over six minutes. So we can close that now. And if we go and look in the folder where I saved it. There's our joined video, so that's still a reasonable size. So let's see what that looks like. Here's our spliced recording, the second half of the lecture with the YouTube video. And if we open that, it made really huge change. Here's our lecture recording, and if we Go through to, I think it was around the 34 minute mark. And play. It was a huge media center. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Here's our video. And that should go for something like 10 minutes. Um, and then we're back to the lecture. A lot of creativity you need in order to create. Okay, so. That's how you can splice in a YouTube video or any video into a lecture recording. Thanks for watching.